Hello everyone and welcome back to Clark Sports Cards. Today we're going to do a little retail review of Chronicles 2021. This is one of my favorite products that come out every year. So if Panini has a favorite product, it's always been Chronicles for me. Uh, love the variation that they have as far as different sets and different colors and parallels and stuff like that that you can also get out of the retail form. Um, so what we have before us is I think everything that actually is offered through Chronicles. I don't think they have hangers. I uh, could be wrong, but I haven't seen any come out. Uh, we do have some fat packs. I got a couple here, and I've got some more, but we're just gonna open up a couple of them so we can look at them. I got a blaster, and I got a mega box. And so what we'll do is we'll kind of go through and break down each one, and you can determine which one that you like as far as price per card, as far as retail pricing, whatever, and what they have to offer on each one. So we'll start off with the bottom and kind of work our way up. We'll go with the, with the um, fat packs, then we'll go to the blaster, and then finally the mega that actually has one auto in that. So we'll set the mega box over here to the side just a little bit, along with the blaster, and we'll focus on first off the fat packs. Uh, the fat packs run about eight bucks in the store, at least at Walmart anyway, and has 15 cards in it. Um, one exclusive pink pulsar, it says, per pack on average. So we're going to see if we fall victim to the uh, on average deal or not, or we're we actually going to get something pretty good out of these fat packs. So price per card is roughly just a hair over 50 cent a card. Once you do tax and everything like that, probably going to be right in the neighborhood of close to 60 cents, 58 cents. You know, if you do actual math and everything like that, break it down. So that's not too bad. Nowadays, it seems like every card is about almost for some of the good products is about a dollar per card, unless you're looking at some of the flagship like tops. So some of the stuff like Mosaic, Prism, Select, things of that nature in baseball always run a pretty good up to almost a dollar per card. Uh, even Donner's Optic now. <coughs> with Chronicles, is not as bad. So let's start off with that and see where we're at. On the back, it's got, I don't think it's got odds, but it does tell you kind of like the different parallels and stuff like that. And we might better be able to get a better screenshot on the box or something like that, but that's a little bit of it right there. Nothing about odds. Just tells you what they're number two. You can freeze frame it if you'd like and kind of take a look at that. So let's go ahead and dive into the product. I've already opened up a hobby box of this on another channel um, and got some pretty decent cards on it. I got a, a hobby box that says it had three autos and I fell victim to the on average and actually only got one auto out of the hobby box and then a panini point. So really I only got one auto so it kind of really kind of sucked but that's about the only one I seen that was pretty bad and it happened to me in my box. So, But either way I still got some pretty good low number cards. I think I got a couple out of 25 so we'll get into the retail a little bit and that's one of my not one of my favorite types of cards, which is classic, but one of my favorite rookies, which is Bobby Dahlback. These things are normally loaded with rookie cards, uh, so that's another reason why I liked it. So there we go, Chronicles rookie card of Bobby Dahlback right there in classic mode. Got a nice Juan Soto right there. And that's your Chronicles, our standard score, Logan Gilbert rookie card. And that right there is your score. We got the Legacy, which is... Koei O'Hara rookie card right there in Legacy. Pinnacles, not a very good fan of Pinnacles. Something I think they just come out with this year a little bit more. But um, that's a good good rookie, Badu, right there. So we'll put him up there. But it's a Pinnacles card. I don't know if I showed the back of it, but there we go. I think I did. All right. And then we've got our Timeless Treasures. Come back from years and years. There's a Vladdy front and back. And then rookies, as always, rookies and stars is always in here, it seems like, as well. There's a Fernando Tatis, front and back. And we got here with our thicker cards, which is a Matt Scherzer. And this is going to be, uh, what was this called? I kind of forgot now. Chronicles America's Pastime. That's what it was. You'll see some of these on-card autos in this. Some of the patches and stuff like it is in this as well. As you can see, it's a very thick card. It's almost like, I mean, it's solid. So you don't have to worry about corners or anything with that. It's almost like it's real thick plastic on it as well. Don't know what can go wrong with this other than maybe the surface of it. But, you know, kind of, you know, just a heavy, thick cardboard card. But we'll set it up there because it is one of the better ones. There's a nice trout right there, a clear vision trout. Beautiful card as well. I like the clear visions. We're going to put trout. He always deserves to be up there. We'll put him in the back, though. Uh, Jose Altuve, and this is your, is it titanium? Yep, titanium. 
Jose Altuve, nice shine. It's always got the foil look to it, titanium. One of my favorite cards right here is always Phoenix, and that's a Chris Bryant Phoenix, front and back. And one of the new ones here, Overdrive, Pete Alonzo. Not a fan of Overdrive. I like the finish of them. The colors is not too appealing to me. It's always like a pink, it seems like, look to it. And then they have really true colors of the unis and stuff like that. Now, this is a nice one, Titanium. Uh, I don't know if this one's going to be numbered or if this is our pink that they're talking about. It's a prism, as you can see. But it's normally not that pink, so this must be our pink that they're talking about. But it's a nice Shoei Otani, nonetheless. Love that spark, almost like a wave look to it. Beautiful card. We'll put that out there. like the titanium. Certified. I've kind of grown on that a little bit. It's kind of a basic look to it, but it's always got a nice center view, almost like a portrait finish to it. Nice Juan Soto and certified as well. And then it always has this, and this is a Trevor Lar Larnack, Minnesota. Love the look of the Revolution this year. Seems like it's a little bit better as far as clear and stuff like that. A lot more shinier, it seems like. Beautiful card. And this is the Astral, or Astro version. It might be just because of the of the design of that one. But none of the big rookie cards out of that. Got a couple decent ones, though, but nice foils. Let's we'll see what we get out of the next fat pack. If you like to rip cards, probably your fat packs is going to be your best option. But, of course, you might have to battle some of the card issues as far as quality ding corners and stuff. But that's a Trey Mancini. We've done seen the classic. Glaber Torres Chronicles. DJ, we've seen that in score already. <laughs> Timeless Treasure, Ian Anderson. That's my man right there. So I'm definitely putting him up there. He's my Braves guy. Love it, pitcher. Uh, who is this? Marcano, rookie card. Another Mike Trout. That's limited. We hadn't seen one of those yet. Front and back. Nice limited. Put him back here with a little Trout action. Brent Honeywell, legacy. We've seen that already. It's an A-Rod right there. A lot of people don't like Alex Rodriguez. But either way, this is your thick card again. Timeless Treasures. A rod. Man, these things, you ain't gonna be able to fit no more than a couple of them on the stand. Beautiful card here, clearly. Clearly Don Russ, I think this is what this is. Clear, clearly Don Russ, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Nice. And love these cards too. Like this black. And that's a Monty Harrison. That's a nice design to that. Look at that. It's almost it reminds me of kind of illusions look a little bit, I guess. Beautiful card. A little bit thicker stock too, as you can see right there than your normal cards see how thick it is a little bit thicker uh, next card is a uh, Jose Devers titanium and this is another different look to this it almost like it should be numbered but that's a purple so we've had a kind of a pink pulsar and now we got a purple look to it neat looking and these titaniums are a little bit thicker as well Crusades not a fan of Crusades but there it is. That kind of does in your like Donruss or a uh, uh, prism, I guess. Look, there's another Glaber Torres right there. Shout out to Grade Worthy right there. Nice titanium prism, Glaber Torres. We'll put him back here in the back. This is a beautiful card. Christian Pache, my man, rookie card, goes up there. And who we got here? Mickey Mantle. And this is an Astro Mickey Mantle as well. Look at that beautiful card, Mickey Mantle. Look how it pops. It's almost like a 3D version this year to revolution love that card love the design so that's what we got in our fat pack so basically you know we got close to about 16 a little bit about 17 bucks there once you count tax and everything like that got some decent cards none of the big hits out of that but let's get into the blaster now now this is the disappointment about the blaster and we'll take off the cellophane and talk a little bit about it disappointment in the price of this 28 dollars I think it's $27.98. Then you got tax on top of it. You're getting right close to 30 bucks for a blaster. Now, that's not bad now compared to the market, but look at the cards you get. You only get 20 cards. It's almost like a select version. And it says right here, you'll find four Revolution inserts, including two blaster exclusive group parallels. I only bought, I think, one blaster just to show on the channel because the price per card on this is, man, it's, it's over a dollar. It's crazy. Um, on price on this one compared to the fat packs. I mean you're talking like more than double and you don't get really nothing spectacular out of this There's no bonus out of this. No nothing just four packs and five cards per pack Nothing guaranteed other than your groove parallels. I'm wondering if these groove parallels is going to be worth 
the thing. Uh, worth the buy. So there's a little bit more as far as odds. You might be able to see it a little bit better than it's on the pack. I'm sure it's got different stuff in the um, in the blaster than it would have in the fat pack, but other than maybe the Revolution in shirts, but we didn't we didn't got some of those, and maybe the Groove Parallels. I don't know. We'll see. But still a nice. Uh, 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 as far as price, I would steer away from the the blaster. That's my personal opinion because you, you double the price on cards. Why not just gamble with the fat packs if you're just looking to rip cards, you know? But we're gonna find out here. I might you know take it back once we see what we get here. Well, that's a good start right there. There's an Alex Kirloff rookie out of Chronicles. It's a nice one. A nice rookie right there. Um, put him right there. Uh, now this is Elite. We haven't seen one of these yet, but that's Braylon Marquez. Elite. Nice looking card. I think Donner's done a spinoff this year in football with Elite. Nice card there. Braylon Marquez. Logan Gilbert. We've done seen the Phoenix design. Now Alex Baum. Look at that. Now that is a beautiful card right there in Phoenix. Right there. And this is what is this? It's some type of refractor. I forgot what it's called. Almost like an X-Fractor in Phoenix, I think it is. But that's a beautiful card right there. Alex Baum. Look at that. T-Bone. And uh, Furball. Alright. And a revolution here. Who we got here? This is Sixto Sanchez. Maybe he'll come back this year. Do something good. But that's another beautiful card there in Revolution. So, And this is called the Groove Parallel. As you can see right there. The Groove Parallel. Sixto Sanchez. So... Uh, rookie okay we'll see what it comes back to and if he's actually going to be a uh, formidable pitcher this coming year so um, so far I mean as far as card value I'd say we the blaster is better but I mean like I said you're paying double the price so let's see what else we get here's Ian Happ right there and certified who else we got here Yerman Mercedes is a nice card right there and limited we'll put that up there and he's going to be crooked Javi Baez there, not a fond of overdrive, but there it is. Shoei Otani Titanium, that's your, kind of like your X-Fractor, kind of like in tops again. And then behind it, we've got a Dalton Varsho, underrated. Um, it's not numbered, but still, the same thing. It's almost like this is black and white a little bit there. A little different look. We're gonna, I've got the very, almost a rainbow of Shohei Otani <laughs> right there. Started anyway. It's almost like a black and white, but I guess, well, also my, all of them are kind of black and white, I guess. Maybe the the color was just throwing me off there a little bit, but yeah, still nice show of Tony there, and Dalton Varsho um, in Revolution, another beautiful card. Um, don't say anything about this one being anything special, but it does look different. Uh, the sparkles are in this versus in, not in the other, but it doesn't name it any different. So, might be what they're talking about as far as their insert there. All right, here we go. Next pack. So we got halfway through the box. And we got Yang right there. There it is, Jake the Rake. I like that card, and I love it in Donruss Elite. That's a beautiful card. Definitely put that up there. One of the hits or good cards. There's a Mickey Moniac Overdrive. And Geraldo Perdomo, I think it is how you say his name, and that's in uh, Crusade. It's just says Prism, so kind of like the X-Fractor there. We're just going to put it up there because it's an X-Fractor. And then we got another Dalton Varsho here. So this one is the Groove Parallel there again. And as you can see, this one does not have any name on it. So this must be the base. It's just spark, all sparkly up a little bit. And then you got your Groove Parallel here. And then didn't we say the Mickey Mantle was something else? You have Astro. So kind of a little bit different look at the parallels and stuff like that that you can see out of the Revolution. And then we also have, didn't we have another one up here? No, it's a Groove as well. Okay. So, yeah, the, the Revolution cards are beautiful cards. I love the parallels in that. All right, last pack of the Blaster. This is going to be a pretty long little video here. I might cut it short and go right into the Mega Box later. I don't know. Uh, Ichiro, Mikey Skrimsky, and this is your thick one again of the pastime. I'm going to set him up there somewhere. All right. Daryl Lynch, Ricky Card, Titanium. Bryce Harper, there you go, Phillies fans. And who we got here? Tanner Houck. So, um, beautiful cards, nonetheless. Uh, I love that X Fractor in that in that um, 
in the Phoenix there. Beautiful card there. And then of course the Revolution. So we didn't pull any of the big, no, notice no numbers. So um, let's get into the Mega Box right quick. And if this shuts off, I might have to make a couple, another video. We'll find out. We got enough memory on the phone here because I'm pre-recording it before heading off to Florida. Big box there. Okay, 15 cards per pack. These runs $50 in the store and plus tax, but you get 15 five card packs and one 10 card bonus purple velocity pack. So you get a lot of cards, 85 cards, I think. A little bit of the odds there, which should be the same. <coughs> Excuse me. You find 15 Resolution, uh, Revolution inserts, including seven Mega Box exclusives, Fractor Parallel. So, plus an auto. Um, if I'm a buyer of this product, it's definitely not the Blaster. Uh, just based on price point, it's probably going to be the Mega Box. I mean, um, I'm hoping that the Mega Box was coming back at 40, but you get a lot of packs in this bad boy. A lot. Look at that. Look at that. Almost like a hobby box right there. We're going to save our bonus pack to last and get right into the packs. Kind of zip through them pretty quick. Oh, this video is going to be a little bit longer than norm. I see a Jake the Cronosworth right in the back, so that's nice. Like that. There's a Jonathan Indian score, so it's already started off with a good pack. Let's see if we can get a good auto out of this. Lynch. Could he be? Ronald Acuna. There it is. There's my man in certified. Definitely a nice hit. And there it is. Jake the Rake in Revolution. Beautiful card. That's your fractal. Right there. Your fractal parallel. A little bit different look to it. Definitely send that out there as a hit. Let's get to the next pack. This is a thick one, so it's probably got that pastime in there. And normally the pastime is where the auto is at. But we'll find out and see. Raffy Devers. And it's not. There's another Raffy Devers in pastime. Nice thick card. Shoei Otani again. I'm getting a lot of him, in, especially in titanium. Uh, Cody Bellinger. And is that another 6 0? Okay, we're 6 0 happy now in Revolution. Next pack. Jose Ramirez. Another Acuna. Timeless treasure. Love my Acuna. Another Acuna right behind in titanium. I'll take it. These, you'll notice in Chronicles, they seem to run in like waves, it seems like. Uh, Jesus Sanchez. And come on, Acuna. Nope. Uh, Trevor Rogers, Miami. And this is your fractal as well. So, beautiful card nonetheless. We're going to put them up there because I love those parallels of those. All right, next pack. Still looking for an auto. Maybe we won't be victim of on average. Eloy Jimenez. Uh-oh. Looks like that's our auto right there. It's going to be playbooks. Jonathan Hernandez, I think, is going to be our auto. And it is a sticker, but it is... Okay, for a minute there, I thought it was out of 31, but it's 31 out of 50. I don't know if you can see it there, but 31 out of 50... First one we've seen a playbook, and it's Jonathan Hernandez for Texas. A picture, so, eh, could have been better, but looks like a JG, uh, a JHGT right there as far as um, auto. But that's our auto. We're going to put him right there. It's, it is a number of cards out of 50, so that's still not bad. Perdomo, who we got here? Is that the nice soda right there? It's the first one we've seen of this. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Chronicles Gold Standard. Beautiful card there. I think that's one of the new ones to the mix. Gold Standard. Nice design right there. Nice little thicker card as well. Beautiful Soto right there. And then right behind it, another Dalton Varsho. So, we're Varsho happy. Trevor Rogers. Not Trevor Rogers, but... Um, what is it? Dalton Varsho that we've got. Sixto and Shoe. Seems like we've got a lot of that so far. All right, Taylor Walls, rookie card. There's a Isabel, another Bryce Harper, Anthony Rizzo, and who we got here? Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt, and that's our Fractal. So, wasn't a very good pack there. So let's get to our next one. Nothing to dwell on too much. Let's see what we get out of the next one here. Not even halfway through yet. Carlos Correa. Ugh. These ugly pinnacles, though. But that's a Badoo again. We got the same Badoo in pinnacle. 
There's another Daniel Lynch. We're starting to get a him in a lot here. And there's another Jake Cronensworth. So we got a, lot. got a couple Jakes here, like three Jakes. And that's a nice one in black. Beautiful card there. Nice thick stock. It's not numbered though, but still a nice card here. And then we got an Evan White. Our first appearance of Evan White. And that's your base. Revolution. Stacking up on the Revolution cards. Almost like bass boats back there glimmering. All right. Next pack. Joey Gallo. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Josh Fleming. And this is... This is a, well, I won't say it's a prism, but it looks like it's like a hollow look to it. Uh, Glaber Torres. And who we got here? Eloy Jimenez. Fractal. Nice Eloy right there. If I happen to skip over some numbers and y'all see it, point it out in the comments as well. I don't think I've missed any, but I'm kind of whizzing through them pretty quick here. Here's a Joe Adele. That's our first Joe Adele right there. It's a nice one there for Chronicles. We're definitely setting him out there. Tatis, our second one in that. And another Tatis with a, a line going down it. All right, this is our first one here. And this is Zenith, almost like a TV, old school. But a William Contreras from my Braves. A little bit thicker card. First time seeing the Zenith there. Beautiful card. And who we got here is Ozzy Albies, Atlanta. It's a little, little bit of Atlanta pack there. Beautiful Ozzy Albies. I, I can't. I, I want to put him up there as far as he is, but he's not a rookie. So let's go to the next one. Another Joe Adele. And this is in classic. All right, little Joe Adele run going on here, maybe. There's a Sam. Another Alex Bomb. We're getting a lot of Alex Bombs. And. We got here a Joey Vato, and what we got here, Luis Camposano, and this is Fractal as well. Luis Camposano, Fractal Parallel. Alright, next pack. We still got our bonus pack to go in about six more packs here. Jose Altuve. Mike Trout, I always put a Trout up there. Lou Bob. Another XR, our first XR, I think, of Luis Camposano. And then Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is right behind him. That's a little bit of a look at that. And then we got a Vladdy Daddy right there, Jr. And that's your base. All right. Hadn't seen a Key Brian Hayes yet. Where's he hiding at? See if we can pull him in the last few packs here. Maybe he's over there in the bonus pack. There's Garrett Cole, Spider Tech. Another Ian Anderson right there in Pinnacle. I'll put him over here, my Ian Anderson stack. Um, here, here is that. I don't know that one. It's titanium pitcher, Xander Bogart, and Nick Gordon. Nick Gordon. I remember seeing that rookie. He might be one just popping up here in Chronicles. Here we go. Next pack. Four more packs to go, including this. Kim, rookie card. Uh, Anthony Rendon. Corey Ray rookie card. First we see that in Milwaukee. And Isaac Par Pardis. And who is this? Korea, uh, same guy. Korea Ahara, I think it is, rookie card. And that's a base, isn't it? Yeah, that's a base. The only number card we've gotten so far out of all this, including the Mega Box, so far, has been in the auto. There's a Braxton. I thought that might be in numbered there but it's not Cody B Logan Gilbert and Phoenix I don't like the way these things are going up inside down a lot Juan Soto nice certified Juan Soto we'll put it up there and Spencer Howard unsung rookie fractal maybe he'll do something this year as well all right two packs to go before we get into our bonus pack I'm hoping we get all this in the video Clayton Kershaw, if it cuts off, it cuts off. Uh, Tristan McKenzie, old stick man. Raffy Devers, that is definitely a prism look to it. Another Ronald Acuna Jr., I like that old gold standard. Ooh, beautiful card there, gold standard. Man, I wish that was number two. It almost like it's gold there looking, doesn't it? I guess that's the reason why it's called gold standard. And Nate Pearson. Nate Pearson, base. All right, last pack, and then we get into our bonus pack. Chronicles, and we'll see what's in that. 
another Jake the Rake. So no key, Brian. Plenty of Jake the Rake, which that's all right. He's a good rookie. I like him. Uh, Ko Kohara or Koei. Uh, Javi Baez, Trevor Bauer, Boo, and Anthony Rizzo. Fractal. Huh, then the Cubs uniform, Anthony Rizzo there. All right, so we're getting our bonus pack here. Let's see what's in our bonus pack. I saved my dessert till last year. Oddball. All right, so these are a lot of the Crusades. Are these all Crusades? Oh, man, come on. Anyway, Wang. Okay, well, no, they're not. Okay, Phoenix. Tristan McKenzie, that's a beautiful card. Trevor Larnack, Overdrive. Beautiful. Mario Feliciano, rookie card and Titan. Nice one there. Aaron Judge, Crusade. Nice there. Shoei Otani, another Shogo. Shoei Otani. The beautiful card there in Phoenix. We like the design of that. It reminds me of the velocity, I think, that comes out. Uh, Juan Kim. There's the same one. Kim again in Titan. Yerman Mercedes in Crusade. And our last one is a Key Brian Hayes. We end with a Key Brian Hayes. Finally got him. Beautiful card. So, tell me what you think. I mean, these cards right here in this bonus pack are out of this world beautiful looking cards i'm not gonna go through all the ones that i got look back and look at the video but the, i mean so much variation such a beautiful product such a well designed always keeps you guessing of what you got i think it goes without saying buy the mega box if you can find it if you can find the mega box get it i think it's even though it's 50 bucks i think it's well worth it so um especially with all the cards you get an auto in it probably not going to be the best auto but all the parallels all the cards that you get out of it, you don't be looking at it to get a bunch of number cards. If you get them, that's great. You'll probably have to buy the hobby to get them. But as far as parallels, fractals, design, all the variations you get, it's a beautiful product. I would encourage everybody to get it. Uh, if you find it in the wild, heck, just get a fat pack. If you can't find the mega box, kind of skip on the blasters, what I would do, but that's up to you. Um, if you like the design of the mega box and what you can, I mean, out of the blaster, then get it. You know, it's up to you. So, but thanks everybody for stopping in. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. We'll do more product reviews here on the channel. Try to get them as soon as they come out in the market. And thank you for everybody coming in. And uh, like I said, hit that like, share, and subscribe. Y'all keep on ripping. Clark Sports Cards out.